All right, what's going on, boys? Welcome back to another video. What we're going to do today is something that's extremely difficult. We are going to do nothing. We're going to do nothing. We're going to sit down and we're going to watch one of my friends, Vibes, spend 100,000 gems on the sixth anniversary platinum chest. So, just for some context, I'm really good friends with Vibes, and Vibes is pretty much the reason as to why. I've had so many fucking gems on my account the last couple of months. Some of you guys have been asking me, Alter, how do you get so many gems? I'm not going to tell you how we do it, but Vibes is the reason why I have so many, so many, so many gems. Um, Vibes asked me to watch his video, to react to his video of him spending 100,000 gems on the 6th anniversary platinum chest. So because he's given me so many gems, I'm going to return the favor and watch his video and make it a video. All right? Now look, real quick. Um, Vibes' video is really short. It's only two minutes long. So after we're done with that video, um, then I'm going to show you guys what my roster looks like. Because I also opened up a lot of platinum chests, but I did not record it. So we're going to watch Vibes opening up a bunch of chests. And then afterwards, I'll show you guys my roster and tell you guys what my roster looked like before I open up the chests. And you guys are going to see what it looks like after I open up my chests. So it's going to be kind of a double chest opening video but not really because you're not going to be able to see me specifically opening up my chests but i'll show you guys what my roster looks like after i open up all my platinum chests all right so uh let's get it started boys because it's going to be probably a long video all right so let's see what's going on with vibes chest opening hopefully he didn't get shafted but this isn't just as too mobile that's probably exactly what happened look at that already starting off bad man already starting off bad no legendary characters in sight. Again, no legendary characters in sight. Um, I think he's going to do... I'm pretty sure the way it works is since he's going to be spending about 100,000 gems, he's going to open up 20 of the times 10 uh, platinum chest option. I, I don't even really know how to explain that. Like He's going to do this 20 times where he opens up 10 of these in a, in a, in a go, I guess you could say. I don't know. So, so far, we're like 10,000 gems in um this is fifteen thousand gems in and he finally got his first uh legendary character mr freeze i'm not really a big mr freeze fan uh but then again i don't really know exactly what mr freeze does i haven't really watched a lot of his gameplay i might have to talk to devo the duck so he can explain to me what mr freeze does okay i believe this is like thirty thousand gems in and now we got raven a character that i actually really really love so that's pretty good one of the best characters in the game in my opinion um, now we got Batman Who Laughs. That's pretty good, too. I really like Batman Who Laughs. Especially, dude, Batman Who Laughs, after this brand new update, um, with the, uh, with the Solar Raid artifact from, uh, oh, what's the Solar Raid called? Oh, yeah, the John Constantine Solar Raid. The Toe Solar Raid. Um, when you get the final artifact, if you put it on Batman Who Laughs, he becomes crazy with percentage health reduction. He becomes crazy, crazy good. So Batman Who Laughs is actually a really W drop. He was a W before, and now he's an even more W. He's an even bigger W. Uh, but either which way. Oh, look at Power Girl right there. She's looking all good. Oh, Power Girl back at it again. Oh, oh, look at that quad feed. Mm. Next up, Zatanna. Oh my God, bro. Oh my god, Melon Overdose, homie. Oh, oh, oh my god, Melon Overdose. I just want to get in there. <laughs> what I would give to be Zatanna's shirt right now. Okay, all right, who said that? Who said that? Yo, chill. Relax, homie. Relax. Seek God. Seek help. Fucking simp. By the way, it was me. I said that. <laughs> I'm in, baby. Entangling poison ivy. I'm in. I'm in. All right, what's next? Another shaft. How many gems are we in? I think he started at 170,000 gems. So how many gems are we in? He's now at 108. So he's, he's spent about 70,000 gems so far. Uh, maybe like 60,000, something like that. Damn, he's getting shafted right now, though, man. That's like the fifth time he hasn't gotten anything. That's like, oh shit. That's like the si that's the sixth time he hasn't gotten anything. Oh rip. He's getting shafted right now, man. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. We got something else right there. Oh, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> okay, look. Mr. Freeze might be a good character, but I just don't really know what he does. So, for now, I'm just going to be a little skeptical. Um, back to getting shafted a rip. Oh, and I guess he's going to switch over to screenshots. Um, yeah, I'm thinking these are probably going to be screenshots. So now we have another Batman who laughs. That's two Batman who laughs drops. Three Batman who laughs drops. And I think that's, I think that's it. Yeah, that's the end of the video right there. Okay, so before I move on to showing you my roster, um, in terms of Vibes chest opening, he spent 100,000 gems, and I believe he got two Mr. Freezes, three Batman who laughs, one Raven, and then two Zatannas. I don't think he got any Black Adams. So that's about eight drops out of 100,000 gems, which is not that good, to be honest. I mean, look, if you go to the chest and you see the chances of getting a legendary character, it's pretty low. It's only 5% in total, and you don't really know which one you're going to get. Um, so I, I think he did end up beating the percentages, but it's still pretty bad. I know that you do get like 450 shards for the character or whatever, but I mean, for a regular player, look, Vibes did not get his gems legitimately. Shocking, right? I know. Um, so for a regular player that's trying to grind out the game, that's going to take forever, bro. That's going to take forever to get those amount of shards or those amount of gems or whatever. Um, so these chests have, they, they got to go up, man. They got to go up in terms of the percentage of getting a good character because it's getting wild out here. Get, imagine getting a hundred, imagine waiting a whole year saving up for a hundred thousand gems. And then like you get two Mr. Freeze drops. You don't even max out Batman who laughs after dropping him three times. Two Zatanna drops, one Raven drop. I mean, it's not that bad. It could be worse, but it also could be much, much, much better. Especially since not everybody grinds this game 24-7, right? But uh, whatever. In terms of my chest opening, I also, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, opened up a bunch of chests. I did not record it, but I will show you guys what my roster looks like. So you guys can get an idea as to what happened yesterday when I bought all of those platinum chests. Um, I spent a little bit more than Vibes. Vibes spent 100,000 gems. I spent about 130,000 gems. And basically what ended up happening is I was able to get my Batman Who Laughs from three stars all the way up to pretty much seven stars. Um, the only reason why he's not seven stars is because I don't have enough intergalactic orbs to get him up to seven stars. So... Batman Who Laughs was the character that I dropped the most, just like Vibes. Vibes got this character the most, and I got this character the most. And look, I'm not complaining, man. Again, when you put this artifact on him, which is the Toe artifact, he becomes insane in terms of the percentage health reduction. He becomes really, really good. So, pretty happy that I got a lot of shards for this guy. On top of that, right now on the store, there is these uh, packs where you can get gear pieces for these legendary characters as well. So I was able to get all the gear pieces for this character as well, on top of getting him up to seven stars. So that's the character that I think made the most amount of progress. From three stars to seven stars, and got all the gears. Next up is Raven. Raven was at four stars, and now she's at five stars, getting pretty close to six stars. So that's a pretty decent upgrade. I would have liked to have been at six stars already, but it is what it is. Um, again, I managed to get pretty much all of her gear pieces as well from the uh, from the gear pack or the, the gear chest, whatever it's called, the Raven gear chest. Um, so that's pretty good. This one was a little bit of a, a, you know, Batman Who Laughs was a great upgrade. Raven was like a good upgrade, you know. It's not bad, but it could have definitely been better, especially since I spent more gems than Vibes. I spent 130,000 gems. I would have expected a little bit more shards, but whatever. Um, Zatanna, I think I had her at at three stars and now she's at five stars so that's pretty good a little bit of a better progression compared to raven and i managed to get all of her gear pieces yesterday i had three gear pieces for batman who laughs and i had one gear piece for raven with zatanna i had no gear pieces so now this was a huge upgrade because i got all of the gears and i promoted her twice so that was really really good next up is going to be black adam so uh, Black Adam, again, just like Zatanna, did not have any gears yesterday, so I'm really happy that I got all of his gears now. Uh, it's going to make him a lot easier to use. Although Black Adam is already really easy to use, but his gears make him a little bit more convenient just in case if you make a mistake. Um, and in terms of his uh, promotion, 
Uh, I believe he was at four stars yesterday, and now he's at star promotion six. Um, I'm not close to getting him, getting him up to seven, so that's like promoting him pretty much two times, which is uh, pretty good. I don't know. This was a really... Him and Zatanna were really, really, really good upgrades because I got all of their gears, and that was really important for me. And then two promotions on top of that, that's pretty good. I mean, it would have been better if it was a little more, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to complain too much. Um, and then finally, Mr. Freeze... Uh, this was a character I wasn't really actively looking to get, really. Uh, but I did get a lot of his shards. Oh, you know what? I think I said that I got Batman Who Laughs shards more than anybody. That's a lie. I got more Mr. Free shards than anybody else. And it's pretty obvious because I did not have this character unlocked yesterday. Like, at all. I had zero shards for this character. And now I have him up to six stars in a day. And I got all of his gear pieces. Which is uh, pretty good. I'm going to work on this character after I finish working on all of my other characters, though. Again, I'm not really sure how, what Mr. Freeze does. I'm not sure if he's a good character or not. Um, but I really want to work on my Batman Who Laughs, my Raven, my my Black Adam, and my Zatanna. Once I finish up with those characters, I think I might work on Brainiac a little bit. And then I'm going to work on Mr. Freeze. But it just depends. Because if this guy is a monster of a character and I just don't know it, then I'll start working on this guy you know, as soon as possible. But for now, he's not really on my radar, but I'm still really happy that I got him up to six stars and I got all of his gear pieces. So that, that's pretty much all that happened yesterday with my chest opening. I know chest openings are really exciting to watch. I wasn't really planning on making a video today, so that's why I didn't really record my chest openings. But uh, you guys pretty much, you know, by looking at my roster can get an idea as to what happened with my drops. I did manage to get a lot of drops um with 130,000 gems though which you know 100 130,000 gems that's a lot of fucking gems right so i got a lot of drops but that's probably because i spent so many gems i did also manage to promote some of my silver characters which is something that i'm actually trying to do i know a lot of people don't really care that much about silver characters but uh for me silver characters i, I don't know man i, I want to get them up to at least six stars i, I don't know what it is but i I, I want to get all golds and silver characters to six stars. I don't know why I feel that way, but I just want to. And then maybe I'll get some of these silvers up to seven stars because promoting them is pretty cheap. It's literally only one intergalactic orb. You know, just, just for some context, a legendary character to get him up to seven stars, that's ten intergalactic orbs. A silver character is only one. So, like, for some reason in my head, I like this idea of maxing out my silver characters in terms of shards. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't actively try to get silver shards. It's just that sometimes when I try to get legendary shards, I manage to also get a bunch of silver shards, which is, you know, good because I want to be able to, you know, get shards for all the characters in the game. Um, right now as well, yesterday, or I guess when you guys are watching this video, that would have been two days ago. Um, oh, by the way, I've been saying yesterday a lot in this video, but that's I'm going to upload this video tomorrow. So that, that, that would be two days ago from when you guys are watching this video. So Whenever I said yesterday I didn't have any gear pieces or something, that was actually two days ago for you guys. Um, so, two days ago, we got the uh, Multiverse Armored Supergirl Arena season. So, that was great because I was able to get more shards from a Multiverse Armored Supergirl. And now we have the Multiverse to Flash Arena season, which is great because I'm going to finally be able to unlock the character. After that, I only have five more characters to go, which is going to be Darkseid, Enchantress, Batman, Harley Quinn, and Wonder Woman. Um, I'm really hoping that Mythic Wonder Woman comes back just like Flash and Multiverse Armored Supergirl Arena Seasons. Uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see. If she does come back, then great, because I'm going to be able to get her pretty quickly. Uh, but then in terms of Darkseid, Enchantress, Harley Quinn, and Batman, I don't really care too much about these characters. But that's kind of why I'm saving up a little bit more gems on my account. I'm not spending all of my gems on the anniversary chest, because I'm going to save some of these to be able to get those final characters. So that way I can just unlock everybody in the game. Um, but I don't think I'm really going to work too much on Enchantress or Suicide Squad Harley Quinn or Darkseid or probably Batman. I'm not too sure. I don't really care that much about those characters, to be honest. But uh, either either which way, boys, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a good day. Keep it thick. You know the deal. You guys are absolutely bootalicious today. Have a good day, boys. Keep it safe. Or what was, what was the motto that I used to use? Uh, stay safe and stay clean, boys. Stay safe and stay clean. I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know when that's going to be, but just keep an eye out, all right?